Hi guys, this is Yuji from Osakana in Brooklyn. This is my YouTube channel Osakana Fish School. Today's topic is about how to shuck live uni. So the first of all, I like to talk about the tools that you need to shuck live uni properly. Uh, the first thing is just normal uh, mixing bowl. Second thing is strainer that fits inside the mixing bowl. And then the third thing is uh, kitchen scissors. And the last thing is spoon. A spoon that is small enough to go inside the uni. Those are the tools that you need before you start shucking uni at home. So the first step is going to be uh, opening up this uni. So the uni has the top part and then also the bottom part. So you see little mouth on the uh, bottom part. This is where you're gonna start shucking uh, with this uh, scissors. So you're going to put uh, scissors. So there's a little skin uh, you can feel right here. That's where you're gonna insert your uh, scissors. Like this. And then uh, you're going to make first cut this way. And then make sure that you don't actually cut all the way here. You just are gonna cut the top part. So after you make the first uh, cut, you're going to turn your scissors. And then you're going to just go around only the, the flat parts. So make sure you don't go to the side. And then you're gonna start seeing the water coming out. So I recommend you're gonna do it inside this, uh, inside a sink so that the water doesn't go onto your uh, uh, counter. So, so I just went first uh, cut like this and then I just went around. So you can easily open this. And then next thing you are going to do is you are going to dump all the water. By doing this, you're actually not going to uh, lose any uni because the uni is actually attached all around inside this shell. It's a beautiful uni, you can see. Okay, let's do it again. First cut. Straight, and then you're going to go around. So uni is spiky. So uh, if you have a glove, kitchen glove at home, it might be helpful. So just going around, around, around. Make sure you don't go to the side of the uni, only the flat part of the bottom. So the water just goes. So depending on the uni, you might have more or less uh, uni, but the uni season is in uh, right now, so I hope that you're going to find a lot of uni. So these are the beautiful uni that just got opened up. Let's go to the next step. The next step is you're going to make sure that you have a bowl, a bowl with cold water. And I'm gonna place this trainer 
do this. Yeah, let's make sure there's actually a lot of water above the uh, strainer. Like this. So the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna use this small spoon and you're gonna go inside wall of the uni so that the, everything will just come out without breaking it. So your goal is to enter your spoon and you're gonna go around and then you wanna make sure that you are keeping the shape of uh, this uni as much as possible. So around the corner and also the bottom. And after you separate sort of the uni and everything else uh, from the inside of the shell, it, you should be able to like swing the uni and you should be able to dump the whole thing. Like this. And then there is nothing left inside. Let's do it again. That's it. So the next step is going to be, so this is the water and then the uni and everything that's inside. So you are going to sort of like gently shake the uh, basket. And then you see this water that's the water you actually want to change. So I'm going to dump the water. And then get the new fresh water. And you're going to place it back in. It will make it easier to remove other organs that is attached to the uni. So we're going to remove all these right now. For this process, you can either use uh, tweezers or chopstick, whatever you have in your kitchen. You might be able to use a fork as well. And then you're going to just pinch this out. These are the part that you don't want to eat. This is the uni's uh, organ. These guys, take it out. Take it out. It looks much cleaner. All the organs are removed from the rest of the uni. And then let's change water one more time. And then final rinse. There's a lot of work that goes into uni, that's why uni is so tasty. Yep, this looks perfect. Let's do it one more time.
one more rinse. Nice and clean. Don't break uni, just take all the brown bits as much as possible. So now your uni is almost at final stage and then the last thing you're gonna do is you're just going to put this uni onto your paper towel and you're just trying to get all the excess water out of the uni and then you're just gonna rest it so that the, all the water will come out. Looks beautiful. So these are the uni that I shucked right now, it's about uh, six pieces together and then as you can see, uh, uni has its own unique color. Sometimes it's orange, sometimes a little bit more uh, purplish, but as long as you remove everything, uh, they are totally edible. And then uh, one thing is that uh, sometimes you see this little white stuff this is normal because this is actually the fat of the uni so which means this is just tastier so please don't be afraid of this uh, white color and then uh, sometimes you see this little uh, purple part of in the uh, uni but that's okay too uh, please don't worry some orange is uh, more yellow than others, some orange, uh, some unis are more orange than others, some uni are more purple, more white and creamy. That's it. So that's it for the uni shaking episode. Thank you so much for uh, watching my virtual lesson of uni shaking today. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the uni that you shaked. Thank you.